Coming up on this episode of Theme Park Newsroom, I will be sharing details on the final day of Indiana River at Bobby on Land. I'll be sharing some details and also some, my thoughts on the potential re-theme and what it could be themed to for the next season. It's time for another episode of Theme Park Newsroom on Coast Shell YouTube channel. Gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Chow, your theme park journalist, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another theme park newsroom update. Yes, you see the updates we were doing uh, we're doing over the next few days. We are back big time. The channel's having a massive, massive upgrade, and uh, I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. These updates to you guys, the Halloween updates, and we'll be doing more rumor mill stuff as well. You see what we did with Six Flags Great America on that one-off. Uh, big episode of Newsroom, uh, so I'm really, really excited to bring you that one, uh, to bring you more rumours on that one. We do have a big one coming up, so stay tuned for that one in a few days. Uh, but this update is from Bobby on Land over in Belgium, and this is on the closure of Indiana River for the massive refurbishment taking place over the winter period. So make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that case boss name YouTube video, and for now. Let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the final day of Indiana River at Bobby on Land. The Indiana River water course in Bobby on Land will be completely restyled and refurbished next winter. This summer, visitors to Bobby on Land will have the opportunity to say goodbye to the current theme in a very special way. On Saturday evening, September 10th, the so-called Night of the Indiana River will take place at the park. 50 fans are allowed to attend the themed evening for a snack, drink and a ride. The amusement park announced this over the last 24 hours. The festivities last from 6 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. There are 25 duo tickets to be won via a quiz on the official Bobby Online website. There is also a surprise for subscribers. On September the 10th, they'll receive a Knight of the Indiana River goodie bag upon presentation of their annual pass. For this, they can go on the general store, the last souvenir shop on the entrance square. Earlier this year, Bobby on Land released mugs and key rings to mark the closure of Indiana River. Now, little is known about the new version of the 31-year-old water-themed ride. In collaboration with the Belgian company KCC Entertainment, they developed three concepts around the theme of Volcano, Scandinavia, and the Middle Ages, all seen in a public survey. So we've got some very interesting stuff there from Indiana River, but let's share my thoughts on the closure of this ride and also a little bit more about the theme of what this could be. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is the latest on Indiana River's final day at Bobby Online. Now, this seems like a really perfect opportunity to share with you the three concepts that this could be. So, let's start off with Volcano. So this is the wide picture of the volcano concept. As you can see, the volcano facade in front of the building. Uh, we do see some uh, some boats around the area as well. We see some uh, some crash boats there at the back as well. So very much like a volcano has erupted and has created, and he's sort of taking a journey into the volcano kind of thing going on. And as you can see on the outside of the attraction on your screen now, found Abby Dozy with a bit, a bit more um, colourful concepts from an inside look around the area. You can see a crashed boat, you can see a watchtower at the top, you see a lighthouse, a sort of broken lighthouse tower above the sign. Good colour scheme on the sign as well. I think that um, definitely some room there for, for potential creative expansion. Now, let's move on to concept two, and this particular concept is Scandinavia. And there it is on your screen, fan dabby uh, So, we have some Scandinavian themed buildings. We have some uh, some green patches down at the back. We've got, uh, again, some colorful buildings around there. And as you take a closer look inside the area, 
on your screen now. Fan Nabby Dozy. Uh, we see the Mystery Factory sign. We have like a, looks like a windmill from off the screen. Uh, you've got like a, a sort of uh, a, a house there. Uh, with a drawbridge ladder going up onto it. You've got a uh, little bits of theming around. It is all sounding amazing. Now, let's go into the Middle Ages themed area. So the Middle Ages section on your screen now, Fandabidozi, look at that. Nice bit of rock work around the building. You've got some uh, classic medieval uh, tents up there as well, red and blue ones. You've got uh, some stone in there as well. And taking a closer look on your screen now, Fandabidozi, uh, we have the Mystery Arena sign. You've got the um, the classic rock work entrance. You've got the, the classic catapult next to those blue tents. There you've got some other medieval devices as well. And some target practice. It, it does look like a target practice with a Scottish hat on top on the front there. I have no idea. But that is what we can see from there. But overall, like I said, these are very, very nice concepts. If I had to pick one that's my favorite personally, I like the look of the Med the Middle Ages one. I think the Middle, Middle Ages one kind of stands out to be the most. If I had to be brutally honest and pick one out that stood out the least, I'd probably go with the Scandinavian one. I think the Mystery Factory one for me definitely uh, didn't really catch my eye. I know, don't get me wrong, it's still great. It's still bright and colorful and adds some flavor to the area and the Scandinavian buildings around the facade. Definitely very, very good. But if you want me to be brutally honest, I personally feel like that one's the least catching out of the three. The volcano one's sort of in the middle. On the one hand, the volcano facade around the building, the, the, crash, the crash theming, uh, the broken lighthouse at the top with the watchtower next to it as well. It adds a bit of nice vibe and atmosphere to it. But on the other hand, th it, this is going to be a family thriller, a family ride. So... It depends how dark you want to go with that volcano theme. Do you want to go to a certain level with it? Do you want to go to certain lengths with it to stop it from being family or family thrill, depending on where you go? So I think there's a mix up between the two of the volcano one. That's why I think the Middle Ages one kind of stands out for me personally, because I think you could go a certain way with the family thrill or the family atmosphere with the Middle Ages one. The volcano one is sort of 50 50. Scandinavia is 100% family for me, unless you really did something uh, mythological or something deep with the Scandinavian theme for a family thrill rather than a family so uh, I would go with the Middle Ages personally but uh, comment down below what would you what go with comment down below with that one as I said 10th September evening of the 10th September is the final night of the original Indiana River theme am I gonna go out there next year to try out the new theme for Bobby on land and get a trip out there to Bobby on land maybe I'm gonna try my absolute best don't get me wrong on that so uh, I cannot wait but that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm the C-H-A-L-L, -L, your Doncaster-based theme park journalist and Doncaster born but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a river-tastic day. You see what we did there?